I'm reading On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Curtis goes to the metal detector with no problems. Then Shayna, Dion, the three sophomores, Zane. Next it's Sunny, followed by Malik. I stroll through after him. The metal detector doesn't beep, but Long puts his arm out in front of me. Go back. Why? I ask. Because he said so, says Tate. But it didn't beep, I say. I don't care, Long says. I told you to go back through. Fine. I go through the metal detector again. No beep. Hand over the bag, Long says. Oh crap, my candy stash. If they find it, I could get suspended for selling on campus. Considering how much I've been suspended over other stuff, I may get expelled. Hand over the bag, Long says. I swallow. I don't have to. Oh, you got something to hide? Long says, no. Put that camera away, Tate tells Malik. He's got it out and pointed at us. I can record if I want. Hand over the bag, Long tells me. No. You know what? He reaches for my backpack strap, but I snatch it away. By the look that flashes across his eyes, I shouldn't have done that. He grabs my arm. Give me that backpack. I yank away. Get your hands off me. Everything happens in a blur. He grabs my arm again and pulls it behind me. The other one goes behind me too. I try to yank and tug away, which only makes his grip tighter. Before I know it, my chest hits the ground first, then my face is pressed against the cold floor. Long's knee goes into my back as Tate removes my backpack.